Hi, I'm Gentry, and this video is going to show you how to do a light brown smoky eye. Just because you say smoky, it doesn't mean it has to be heavy and dramatic, so I want to show you guys how to do a nice daytime look. So, so far on my eye, I have on the eyebrow filler color in French Rose, which is essentially an eyeshadow, with a little bit of my brow left right underneath the outer two-thirds of my brow. I then take my product called the Eye Base Natural, and I apply this all the way across the lid up to the crease. This is going to smooth out any veins, redness, or dark circles, especially if you have thin lids or if you use a product like Latisse that makes the lids um, look a little dark. And you can see how that just brightens the eyelid. Not only does it even out the skin tone, it's going to give something for the eyeshadows to stick to so they stay on longer and they blend a lot easier without any creasing. You don't want to use too much of this product, so like a nice sheer coat will do the trick. Then you go to your eyeshadow brush, which is a large, large fluff brush. It's a little flat, but I find that it's good to lay the color onto your lid without flicking it all over your cheekbones. The color that I have chosen to use is called Chocolate Diamonds, and I'm going to tap off any excess before placing it onto my eyelid. It's just a medium brown shade, has a touch of shimmer, which makes it a little bit easier for blending. And you can see how I'm pressing it all the way up to the lid, all the way on the lid up to the crease. You don't want to go in the crease with your shimmer color, so I'm just going right up there to the fold of the eye. Don't worry about the line looking nice and smooth because you're going to go back and buff and blend it out. Just tap and lay instead of doing a flicking motion, and that'll give you a more opaque look to your shadows. Once you get that color on there, you switch brushes and you switch shadows. This eyeshadow is called the Blending Shadow Brush, and I'm going to use that with a matte brown called Sweet Latte. It's a good medium brown without any frost. I'm not a big fan of doing shimmer in the crease because it confuses the shadow. Same thing with bronzer or anything that you're putting to contour in the eye area or on the face. I don't like to put products that highlight that bring those features forward. It's always best when you hold your chin up so you can see what you're doing. And apply this in layers, starting with a light layer, making sure you don't see the edge of the color that you've placed on the lid. And then blending up as you're running out of product on your brush. You can always go back and add more, but I find that it's easier to start with a little amount and then keep going darker until you get the richness that you're looking for. Make sure you get that inner corner right there. But you can see how I'm going up a little bit higher towards this outer edge, towards the brow lift. But look at the difference that makes when you blend the crease. Grabbing more of my Sweet Latte and blending it upwards. Other colors that are really good for the crease would be like Mocha Madness or Stonehenge. Mocha Madness is a darker version of Sweet Latte if you have a darker, more olive skin tone. And Stonehenge is really good to work with grays or pinks, purples, colors that you don't want to make it necessarily any more warm. Um, it's just more of a cool contour color. I like this brush because it has a nice round head. It's got longer hair so it buffs a little bit easier where the first one was made for more laying the pigment on. I'm going to take a step back and see if you need to add more color on one side versus the other. Eyes are sisters, not twins, so they're not ever going to be exactly the same. So find which eye needs to have a little bit more height, which one needs to be extended more. But the rule of thumb is to it, pretend like there was a line from the corner of your eye to the edge of the eyebrow. Your eyeshadow shouldn't go beyond that. So just make sure it's contained within the lid and the crease. If you want to add a little bit more drama, you can use the brush that I have called the Crease and Corner Brush. It's more of like a pencil brush. And you can use colors like French Roast, which is what I used to fill in my eyebrows, Semi Sweet, which is more of a red brown, or Black Licorice. And you can use this just right here and the outer C shape. To me, it gives the eyes a little bit more dimension by giving depth to the outer corner of the eye. You don't need much. It's a triple pigment shadow, so it's really dark. So a little bit goes a long way. After you get that basic C shape on there, you want to go straight back to that buffing brush, and you still want to make sure everything is nice and blended. This again is the blending shadow brush. Next, I'm going to do the watercolor liner. 
And for this one, I'm going to use the black sequin, and the black sequin is the one that has a split palette. One side has an eyeliner, and the other side has an eyeshadow that you can smudge it out with. I'm adding a little bit of water to my watercolor liner brush, which is this brush here. It's a nice flat brush, and I am rubbing it into this side of the eyeliner, the left side, and you want to make a paste with this. So I'm going to show you on the back of my hand. It should be about a shoe polish and paste. This is a brand new brush, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to add a little bit more water. Sometimes when the product is brand new, you have to use a little bit more water than usual. That's right right there. So you don't want it where the water is like dripping off of your hand, otherwise it's going to get into your eye. Just a nice thick paste. When you apply this product, you're going to look down and press and wiggle right into the base of the lash. And you can see how it makes your eyelashes look twice as thick. You can also put a little on top too, but you're really just working it right into the baseline of the lashes, pressing and wiggling. I don't like to go right over my iris, so I move the eye over to get the inner corner. You want to make sure you don't see any of the pink skin between each hair. But you can see the difference in my lash line, how much fuller it looks. I don't recommend pulling or tugging on the eye when you're applying this product. Just making sure you're always looking down and rolling your iris over and just finding your comfort zone. People go into a panic if they've never used this liner and I show them how to do it. But to me, when you use pencils, it just looks really you know, fake and drawn on. So I really like the depth this gives your eye right here at the base of the lashes. Okay, once you get that baseline, you can then switch to the brush called the Smoky Eye Smudge Brush, which is this one right here. It's an oval head brush that you can use with the right side of the liner. So the right side of the liner is essentially just an eyeshadow. They all have a little bit of shimmer in them. But it's good to blend out the edge of that line, going up to the C shape again, and we're just developing that shadow a little bit more. You see how that just kind of takes it to the next level when you do this. Sometimes women just save the right side for special occasions or to jazz up the eye a little bit more and for every day they just prefer to use the side um, that goes underneath the lash line. Just to find your personal preference. I'm going to go back with a little bit more of a sweet latte on my brush and just make sure you're nice and blended in the fold. Extending that color right above the crease. You don't want to go too far into the crease down here. You want the eyelid to appear a little bit larger. Get some more sweet latte on here. And I just keep buffing until I don't see the edges. This next product that I'm going to use is a brand new eyeshadow called the Impact Shadows. This one is called All of You More. And it's nice because you can apply it with your fingers. But all the shadows in this have a lot of pigment to them. Um, the way I like to use them, since they're really frosty, is right over the iris just to get a little pop of color. So right after I get the basic color down, I like to go back with the green, and you can see the amount of pigment that I get from pressing it on with my finger. I then switch fingers and then start to blend right around the edge. So that way, the brightest part of the green is still contained towards the center. And then from that point, I'm just blending it out. But by adding that highlight right over the iris, it gives the eyes a nice little pop. Other colors that look really good too are like Kiss Me Cupid. That one looks really good over pinks and rose tones as well. Now I'm going to take my little fan brush called the Clean Sweet Brush, and I'm going to tissue off any excess. You can use a Q-tip to help blot off any large chunks of shadow. Just don't use an eye makeup remover because it will smear your concealer. Just for the most part, try to get off of whatever you can. You can also use like a cotton swab with eye cream on it. Got a little eye cream on my finger here and that'll help get off a little bit of excess of the dark shadow that fell down. I always go back with my concealer regardless and clean up the edge of my shadow. Going right up against 
the inner part of the nose right up against the lash line and pulling it upwards like this. If you made any mistakes and if you went too far out with your shadow, this will give it that nice clean edge. Make sure your finger is clean and free of shadow and then you can go back and press it in. But you can see the difference after you do the eye makeup, how much cleaner it looks if you swipe with concealer when you're done. And tapping with my finger to press it in so it looks like skin. And instead of going back with a black pencil liner or with my watercolor eyeliner, I like to use an eyeshadow to frame the bottom of my eye on the lower lash line. You could go back with um, a color like All of You More or even the um, Semi Sweet. I'm going to go back with the very first color that I used, which is called the Chocolate Diamonds. Try to make the eyeliner face. A little bit thicker towards the outside and thinner to go in. Going right along that lash line. You can then use a Q-tip to kind of clean up and blend out the edge even more so you can see how that smoked out the bottom of my eye. And if you want to give a little bit more of that green gold fleck, you can also use a smoky eye smudge brush with the All Love You More and apply some of the green shadow underneath the eyes. I'm just using this to kind of lift up instead of rubbing down or out and smearing and I'm going up. Just going back up with a Q-tip. Again, making sure everything is blended. One thing I always watch out for is to make sure the corners are really nice and blended. I don't want to see too sharp of lines. And you also want to make sure you marry the shadows from your top lash line to the bottom lash line. You don't want to see a big gap of pink skin in here. So go back with the crease and corner brush and just make sure everything is married together. If you step back and you feel like you need more depth to the eye, you can always go back with a darker crease color. I'm going to grab some Mocha Madness just to show you what that would look like. And right along the edge of the black sequin shadow that I used to blend, I'm just richening up the eye with the Mocha Madness. Again, fading it out as I go up. So you can see how that just gave me a little bit more drama. Just depends on how dark you want to go with this. I would then curl my lashes and apply mascara. And then you're done. If you want to see how to apply lashes, follow with the false lash tutorial. Thanks, have a great day.